all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel folks we are less than three days away from green bay packers playoffs and uh the best part is it's not brett Favre, it's not aaron Rodgers. it's the third man up it's mr jordan love in his first year as a starter jordan love has taken this green bay packers team to nine and eight after starting the season three and six that brutal four game losing streak prime time losses to the las vegas raiders prime time losses to the new york giants the loss to the tampa bay buccaneers it's been like four seasons in one we're staying at the four seasons here my packers fans and uh, i love to see this brett Favre said this about jordan love all i can say is wow we traded away a four-time mvp and we gave the keys to the city, to the franchise, to Mr. Jordan Love, who had been riding the bench for many years because obviously Aaron Rodgers is one of the best of the best. Green Bay, the Packers, has one of the, it's not one of the youngest teams. It's the youngest team in the league. It's one of the youngest teams. It's the youngest team actually to ever make the NFL playoffs. We have one of the youngest teams in all of sports ever to make the playoffs. Jordan Love in his first year as the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, threw for over 4,000 yards. Keep in mind, the Chicago Bears, no quarterback in their franchise history has ever done that. 32 touchdowns. Uh, that's the second most in the National Football League. And um, we're in the playoffs. This is so unbelievably impressive. It's so unbelievably impressive. Now, before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. I, as you guys can see, I'm a diehard Green Bay Packers fan, and I'm going to predict it right here, right now. The Green Bay Packers will win this upcoming Sunday afternoon against the Dallas Cowboys. I can't wait. The Green Bay Packers right now are playing with house money. But most importantly, when we zoom out and we look at the bigger picture here, uh, we're loaded. Matt LaFleur is Matt LaFleur. And I'm so glad that the Packers are in the playoffs. So we finished nine and eight and Jordan loves doing his thing because I always felt like Matt LaFleur kind of got this bad rap with Aaron Rodgers. You know, we could never get to the Super Bowl outside of the Super Bowl victory. And I felt like too much of the, I can't even like anguish, like too much of the issues were placed on Matt LaFleur. At the end of the day, the dude's a great offensive mind and the perfect coach, the perfect offensive mind for Matt LaFleur is Jordan Love. And just the simple turnaround that this team had this season. Once again, man, we were three and six. We started the season hot, a beautiful win on the road against the Chicago Bears in week one. We end the season on a beautiful note with a win at home against the Chicago Bears. Folks, this feels historic. You know, I know like people are sick of comparing Jordan Love to Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, but they're doing it for a reason. What we're seeing right now from Jordan Love is un freaking believable. It is absolutely unbelievable. And I will tell you this. Everybody who's naysaying Jordan Love right now, everybody who's saying, like, like hold on, let's relax. One second, let's relax. It was just one season. They only went nine and eight. Let's just hold our horses for one minute. Folks, this isn't the Southwest. We don't have to hold any horses here. If the Jordan Love Green Bay Packers team on the road, takes down the Dallas Cowboys this upcoming Sunday afternoon, the people will lose their shit. They will absolutely lose it as they should. My favorite part about Jordan Love is he gets better as the game goes on. Here is a quote from Kenny Clark on Jordan Love and his leadership. For him to lead us like this says a lot about him, a lot about his character, and a lot about his work, and a lot about the man. Jordan Love's the real freaking deal. The stats back it up. The film backs it up. The eye test, the stats, everything backs up that Jordan Love is the real freaking deal. And most importantly, and I'm, I'm from Chicago. I'm born and raised in the Chicagoland area. I've got love for the Chicago Bears. Sorry, Packers fans. I'm born and raised there. You know what? You know how it is. Every single friend, every single family member I have is a Packer is a Bears fan. I don't know any Packers fan from the Chicago area. Everybody sees the writing on the wall. Everybody sees that this dude is the real deal. 
My favorite part about playing the Dallas Cowboys this upcoming weekend is it's the Dallas Cowboys. Aaron Rodgers owned this franchise, especially in the playoffs his entire career. And he passed the torch to Jordan Love. And he passed the torch in the Chicago Bears. And I hope he passed the torch with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, either way, we're playing with house money right now. But my favorite part about the Green Bay Packers right now is our defense, or outside of Jordan Love, and our young wide receiver core, and our healthy wide receiver core, is our defense. Now, before we talk about the defense here, no seventh seed has ever won a playoff game since its inception during the 2020 season. So the two seven seeds, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say both of those two teams will win this upcoming weekend. And finally, we can kibosh that seventh seed uh, has never won a playoff game. <laughs> Folks, if Jordan Love takes this Green Bay Packers team to the second round of the playoffs, everybody will lose their mind. And Packers fans, I'm losing my mind right now because I watch Jordan Love and I it's just unbelievable. I mean, he has wild throw after wild throw after wild throw. But as Kenny Clark alluded to, my favorite part about Jordan Love and honestly this entire Green Bay Packers team is they're so hungry, but they're also so freaking humble. Like, I go back to the Jordan Love fumble against the Chicago Bears. If he had not fumbled that football, which was a first down, uh, he would have had a perfect game. And he won NFC Player of the Week for back-to-back -back weeks. And he should be an MVP candidate. 27 to 32, 316 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Uh, I don't care if it's against the Chicago Bears defense, which actually isn't even that bad. I don't care if it's against the Minnesota Vikings defense, which is which is actually statistically a really solid defense. I don't care about any of that because it actually helps the argument. What we're seeing right now is historic. And I have this weird gut feeling, and I will say, as you guys can tell, I'm a diehard Green Bay Packers fan. It is a little bit biased. I have a really strong feeling the Packers will win this game against Dallas. And Aaron Jones has led the National Football League in rushing yards with 411 since his return in week 15. I have a healthy wide receiver group. I have a healthy tight end group. I have a beast, underrated, underappreciated offensive line across the National Football Media world. And my defense, guys, in the last two weeks has looked incredible. And the naysayers will say, Oh, well, what about the game to the Giants? What about the game to Tampa Bay? What about the game to Carolina? Well, they shut out. I mean, they didn't actually shut out Minnesota. They didn't shut out Green or Chicago. But Green Bay's defense dominated the last two football games. And this is where I want to stray away from statistics because it doesn't matter to me. The Green Bay Packers defense right now is ready, hungry, and good to go. Jair Alexander unfortunately rolled his ankle this past week or yesterday on Wednesday, which absolutely does suck, but it's next man up mentality. He's going to play and he's going to be good to go. Folks, Quay Walker, Kenny Clark, Lucas Van Ness, Jair Alexander, I could name our entire defensive roster. There's so much talent there and they're finally starting to get it together at a consistent rate. Yes, it's only been two weeks, but guys, I will say this because we mentioned Jordan Love getting better as the game goes on. If the Green Bay Packers are winning the football game, if they are leading the game at halftime against Dallas, or even if it's tied, they will win the game. They will win the football game. Jordan Love is that real of a deal. You're not an MVP candidate for no reason. Jordan Love's the truth. And the Green Bay Packers, our future is so bright. We're playing with house money. Mike McCarthy's job's on the line. Dakota Prescott's legacy is on the line here they have everything to lose and we have everything to gain folks this is where history is made the green bay packers will take down the dallas cowboys this upcoming sunday afternoon thank you for watching that's it for this packers glazing video if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content packers fans on most i make at least one packers video every single week so stay tuned and let's get this freaking win man